So here is the moment of truth. Will this simulator work? Let's find out. Yo guys, this is Aprex here. Welcome to a brand new video. Recently, I have been getting many comments from you guys telling me to test the PS RXS4 emulator, which is supposed to be the first PS4 emulator for Android. So in today's video, I'll be testing this emulator. Let's see if this is a real PS4 emulator for Android or a fake. So if you guys don't know, then there was basically a YouTube channel named as PS RXS4 Development, which uploaded a gameplay of Sonic Mania running at full speed on this supposedly PS4 emulator for Android. Android. Now this PS4 emulator hasn't been released uh, to the public but I have gotten its beta apk files so in today's video we'll be testing it out. So before starting if you guys are new here then smash that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications because I create videos like this and I'll let you guys know with the latest emulation news. With that being said let's get started through today's video. So I managed to get this google drive link of the PSRXS4 beta apk file from one of my subscribers so he provided me with this link so I'll just go ahead and click on download and let's find out let's try installing this emulator on my device. So here as you guys can see the size is supposed to be about 3.7 MB which is not that much for an emulator but it is possible uh, that emulators can be of low size as low as 3.7 MB and by the way the owner of PSRX4 YouTube channel has also created his own discord server where you can see that the release day is supposed to be 54 days away but the date never goes down which is really fishy but anyways we'll just go ahead and download this 3.7 MB apk file of the PSRXS4 uh, app so here you can see I have already downloaded it so I'll just go ahead and install it as you guys can see the PSRXS4 emulator do you want to install this app so we'll just go ahead and click on install I guess it is compatible up to Android 12 as it got installed on my Android 12 device. By the way, I have also created a video on testing this PS3 EMU on my Android device. So be sure to check out that video as well. Link will be given in description box below. Anyways, here is the app info of PSRX4 emulator. It does not ask for storage permission. I'll now just go ahead and click on the PSRX4 logo and let's open the app. But here as you guys can see, once we open this app, it will show us the PlayStation logo. And afterwards, let's see, okay, this device is not supported, please use a device with Gen 1 Snapdragon. Okay, this is interesting, I have never seen anything like this before. So apparently it's saying that you need to have Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor Android phone to run the simulator. But it is in 360p resolution. I just clicked somewhere and now it's saying server verification, complete a verification to access the server, which is complete red flag. Now I'll just go ahead and click on OK and click on Chrome. I'll show you guys that uh, this might be a human verification. So yep. This is actually an human verification. If you guys don't know, then human verifications are where you will have to install few apps uh, for the app or game to open. But that never happens, guys. So these are the sponsored apps which it will ask you to install. But if you install these apps, then they will get the money and it will waste your time. The emulator or game will not open. So the human verification is a scam, which means that this emulator is also a scam emulator. It's really not that surprising as PS4 emulation on Android is currently impossible because if you guys know then there isn't even a ps4 emulator for pc but we have a ps4 emulation emulator for android it's just not supposed to happen right now so psrx4 emulator is 100% fake by the way i'll also tell you guys the conclusion of this emulator but if we try opening the emulator again then you can see that it will again show the playstation logo and the device which i am using to test this uh, emulator has snapdragon 888 processor so according to this app you need snapdragon gen 1 which is complete bs because this is just a video recording now let's talk about the conclusion of psrxs4 emulator now first of all the app is just made up of full of videos so the developer of that application has just inserted two videos which show the playstation booting screen and afterwards show that your device does not have which just shows your device does not have snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor which is totally scam uh, so even if you had a gen 1 processor then it would still say that uh, you need a snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor because it's just a video running in that app and also let me talk about ps4 emulation on android currently it's impossible so the psrxs4 emulator is completely scam it does not work it is not a real project as there isn't even a proper working ps4 emulator for pcs like if you guys know then pcs are very powerful they can easily uh, emulate triple a games but still 
uh, there is no ps4 emulator for pc so android ps4 emulation is very far away like 2025 or 2026 we might have the first ps4 emulator for android but till then there won't be any real ps4 projects and the gameplays which uh, the psrx4 uh, development youtube channel uploaded were just recorded by uh, playstation remote play which is an free app available on play store and app store which lets you stream your playstation onto your android device uh, and here you can see that i am actually playing gta 5 on my android device this is using the same kind of technology i am streaming this gta 5 from my uh, gaming laptop to my android device so that's how it's working so flawlessly uh, and many youtube channels use this technique to scam people uh, and there were a lot of many, lot of videos in 2018 as well about gta 5 for android etc which just showcased them streaming the game but then said that it's android apk file then there were a lot of human verifications so human ver verification is 100 percent false don't waste your time on it and all of you guys who are wondering if psr is for if PSRX S4 emulator is worth installing then no it's not it's totally fake it's waste of your time anyways that's it for today's video thanks for watching make sure like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos goodbye